Have you ever witnessed the biggest cows in the world? Where do they come from, and how are they being raised? Let's watch this video until the end to see the world's largest bulls on planet Earth. The Maine Anjou Depress, a beef breed originating from the Maine and Anjou regions of France, is one of the largest and most powerful cattle in the world. With their enormous size, tall stature, and the ability to reach weights of up to 2,000 pounds, these cows are considered giants in the cattle industry. Maine Anjou Depress cattle are famous not only for their hardiness, but also for the variety of habitats to which they can adapt. They have the ability to live and grow well under many different climatic and soil conditions, allowing them to be raised in many regions of the world. Because of this, Maine Anjou depressed cows are often found on farms everywhere, from peaceful countrysides to tropical environments. The Maine Anjou depressed cattle raising model often starts with carefully cared for young cows on farms. They will be provided with daily food such as dry straw, and nutritious seeds to ensure healthy growth. Every day, these cows are taken out to immerse themselves in nature, eat grass, and move freely in the large field. This helps providing them with a good quality of life and promotes muscle growth. However, the life of the main Andrew Depress cow doesn't stop there, so when they reach maturity, they will be put up for auction, where the largest cows will attract the attention of auctioners and fans of the breed. The prime example is a bull named Big John, which sold for a huge price in 2019, and that was $20,000. It is worth mentioning that Big John weighs a whopping 2,500 pounds and has a staggering 100-inch chest. Montbelliard cattle, a typical French beef breed, have become a symbol of the strength and preciousness of the country's agriculture. This breed of cattle not only attracts attention from breeders in France, but also from all over the world. With their large size and incredible adaptability, Mont Belliard cattle have become famous not only for their excellent meat quality, but also for their exceptional engagement at the animal auction in Mont Belliard, France. The Mont Billiard Bull Auction isn't just an ordinary commercial event, it is where breeders have the opportunity to display the largest and most powerful cows of the Mont Billiard breed. In particular, mature bulls are often the highlight of the auction. They're raised for meat and sometimes reach record weights, with animals weighing up to 2,200 pounds which is 1,000 kilograms. The South Devon Cattle, a beef breed originating from Southern England, characterized by its large size, with mature males weighing up to 2,000 pounds, has attracted the interest of many farmers and breeders around the world. The ability to grow quickly 
and delicious meat quality are the outstanding characteristics of this breed of the cattle. Feed plays an important role in raising South Devon cattle. This is a grass-eating cow that needs to be provided with adequate green food and concentrates. Healthcare is also an important part of raising South Devon cows. South Devon cattle can suffer from a number of diseases such as respiratory diseases, gastrointestinal diseases, and parasitic diseases. Farmers need to regularly check cow health to detect and promptly treat any diseases. The South Devon Bull Auction is usually held in late winter or early spring. At the auction, South Devon cattle will be sold to other breeders. The largest cows can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. So there was a record of a bull named Big Jim weighing up to 2,200 pounds, and that is for an example. Specific information about raising South Devon cattle on a farm includes prices ranging from $1,000 to $5,000, an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. The meat that is being yielded from each animal is about 1,000 pounds per each animal. The South Devon beef is known for having a red, deep color, delicious flavor, and low fat content. South Devon cattle farming is an important economic sector in many countries around the world, including the United States. Raising Indonesian cemental cattle on a farm requires attention and knowledge of animal care. Indonesian cemental cattle are hybrid cattle produced from a combination of Swiss cemental cattle and Indian Brahmin cattle. This has created a breed of cattle that can adapt well to many climatic and soil conditions. When starting to raise Indonesian cemental cattle on the farm, breed selection is very important. Look for varieties that are well adapted to specific local conditions, especially climate and soil. This includes considerations for growth and development, adaptability to hot climates, and disease resistance. Indonesia's cemental cattle auction is an important part of the livestock industry. Auctions are typically held at farms or agricultural fairs and use evaluation criteria such as weight, meat quality, and fertility to determine value of each cow. The largest cemental cows in Indonesia can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. The world record for Indonesian cemental cattle weight is held by a bull named Big Ben with a robot weighing 2,074 pounds. Maintaining and managing the Indonesian cemental herd requires knowledge and skills in caring for the animals so they grow healthy, so they can fetch high quality at the auction phase. Raising Parthenon's cattle on a farm is a job that requires care and patience. Parthenay's cattle, a typical French beef breed, are large and strong, typically weighing around 1,500 pounds. This creates opportunities for many breeders to take advantage of their meat potential. So when starting to raise Parthenay's cattle, it is important to choose the breed carefully, learn about their health, fertility and meat, yield to ensure you choose the right animal. Make sure your barn is solidly built to ensure the safety of your cows and provide enough space 
for them to move around and live naturally. The Parthenay's auction is an opportunity for Parthenay's cattle breeders to sell to dealers and individual buyers. The largest cows can weigh up to 2,500 pounds, and even the heaviest cow ever recorded, Hercules, weighed even more, up to 2,800 pounds. Parthenay's beef is very popular because of it's high quality. It has a deep red color, delicious flavor, and is tender, making it a great choice for beef lovers. So pretty much raising Parthenay's cows on a farm requires concentration and hard work. But for those who love this pet, it can bring profit and happiness at the same time. What do you think about this video? Please leave a comment below in the comment section to let us know. And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video. In addition, in the United States, there are about 31,000 wild bison being preserved in national reserves. The area around Yellowstone is the most famous when it comes to this animal. And here, there are about 5,300 wild bison that make their home here. After about 283 days from mating, the female bison at this farm will begin the breeding cycle. The breeding process of the female bison usually only lasts an hour. In the United States, about 113,000 bison are born each year, and about 2% of them will die during birth. On average, the calves weigh over 55 pounds at birth and are 30% heavier than wild bison calves. At these farms, calves will live with their mothers for seven months before weaning. According to statistics released in 2021, in the United States, there are 513 bison farms distributed across the country with sizes varying. In particular, South Dakota is the state with the largest number of bison farms. There are 104 farms here, and this county has 24 farms. In addition to South Dakota, Nebraska is also a state with a lot of bison farms and is ranked second in the list of states with the most bison farms. There are about 23,000 bison here. state of Montana there is 11,000 bison. Following this down we go to Colorado with 10,000 and Oklahoma also has 10,000 bison. Mm -hmm. 
Every day, herders will herd the bison into the pasture so that they can freely feed. The calves will also be fed with their mothers and they are all protected by a fence surrounding the pasture area. Female bison are considered fully mature when they are two and a half to three years old. Male bison are only considered mature and ready to mate when they are four to five years old. There are currently 57 bison farms in Oklahoma, concentrated mainly in the region bordering the state of Missouri. About 1,300 bison are slaughtered in Oklahoma each year. In addition to the bison being free to graze on the farm, they are also supplemented with other foods such as corn and pellets. An adult bison has the average weight of around 1,800 pounds and females normally have an average weight of around 960 pounds. Each day the bison here need to eat an, an amount equivalent to about 3% of their body weight. When the pastures around the farm are in the process of being restored, the workers here will use dry straw to feed the bison. This is a bison farm with 75 bison in Colorado. According to the information that this ranch owner shared, each year the bison here eat 127,000 pounds of dry straw, equivalent to about 2,300 bales. This is a herd of bison, numbering around 55 in Montana. In the late afternoon, they will be herded to captivity to avoid being attacked by wolves or other predators at night. According to a 2021 census, there are about 62 bison farms in Montana, and about 1,400 bison are slaughtered each year in their state. Around every six months or so, bison raised on farms will be health checked and vaccinated. Bison will be put in an iron cage to be weighed and then injected with the vaccine. Just imagine how many people we would need to keep a bison without this cage. Here's what's going on at a bison market in Missouri. Hundreds of bison were transported here for auction before they were slaughtered. These bison will be kept in different areas, waiting their turn to be auctioned. Each barn will hold from five to eight bison. Here's what's going on inside the auction area. Currently the price for a two-year-old bison is between $3,500 US dollars and around $7,000. This price depends on many different factors, such as the origin of the appearance and the level of purebred. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. 
So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.